So I'm just on my way down to the woods, planning to do a little foraging for just some greens to go with dinner, really, a, a mixture of stuff. Um, and this is just a lovely example of, of this plant, and I wanted to show you because often when I find it, it's kind of mixed in with grasses, and especially at this time of year, it's been mowed or whatever, and it's quite short and harder to, to look at properly. Um, this is sorrel, and sorrel is one of my favourite uh, it's kind of somewhere between greens and herbs. Tastes fantastic, really like sour, sharp, a little astringent. Um, often I describe it as somewhere between lemons and green apple skin. Um, and you can use it as a green, you can kind of cook it up and have it with fish or make a sauce or make a soup. Um, it's really nice mixed in with a salad. Just a really versatile little green plant. Um, and to identify it, so a lot of people worry about getting this mixed up with Lords and Ladies, Arum. Um, and I can see why. The, the stem uh, attachment where the, the leaves go backwards from the stem, I've seen them variously described as like little ears or shirt lapels or all sorts of different things. But they go backwards in this not quite heart shape, but, but kind of pointy ears backwards from where the, the leaf joins the stem. Um, they often have this kind of uh, dip in the side where the, the little pointy bits join the rest of the leaf as well, but not always. Um, but for me, the, the easiest way to, to differentiate between this and Lords and Ladies is the veins. Um, so on Lords and Ladies, it's also much bigger and shiny and things like that, but obviously it starts small. Um, but the veins on Lords and Ladies kind of go in all sorts of different directions, whereas these just coming out from the central vein. Um, and they stop just before the edge of the leaf, so it has a, a plain margin all the way around with no veins in it. Um, I have done, I was finding it difficult to focus for some reason, I have done a video on, on Lords and Ladies, so you can check that out to see what I mean. Um, but yeah, this has a lovely typical vein pattern with veins coming out from the centre. Um, it also feels very different in your hand, but that's difficult to show you on a camera. To me, it feels almost slightly succulent sorrel. Um, kind of juicy and slightly thick. But but yeah, I think relatively easy to identify once you know what you're looking for. It's related to docks, um, but docks won't have this bit at the back. And they also have slightly different leaves, often curly at the edges or with red blotches or just just a bit different looking. Um, dock also isn't poisonous. It's just really, really bitter. So. Uh, the mistake would be in having a horrible taste in your mouth with Doc, whereas with Aram it would be much nastier. Um, in the summer, Sorrel has great big tall flower spikes that look a bit like Doc ones, um, but much pinker, really, really beautiful, I think. Um, but I will do a video on its own in summer to show you what the flowers look like. But for now, this is what Doc, uh, Sorrel will look like when you find it in the spring if you find it in a place that isn't being mowed um, and it's delicious I would definitely recommend it as a sauce with fish or in your salad or just just as a soup um, do like and subscribe it really helps while I'm growing the channel and I'm trying to broaden our audience and uh, join me again for more foraging videos <laughs>